I did everything myself in here. That is not how you do the business. And that right there is a house that I have already flipped as well. And I already know that I can flip this house to a buyer on my buyers list because I got a strong buyers list in this area. Hey, what's up guys? John Cochran here and today is System Saturday, the day that I bring you a system that I use in my business that you can rip off, duplicate using your own local market. Now, today is special because I have a special question for you and that question is this. If you had $500,000 of your own money, would you use it to flip properties? Duh. I mean, here's the truth of it is, guys. You can save a ton of money if you build up and if I showed you a business to where you made $500,000 and you had that right into your own bank account, you could literally be the bank, guys, and you would um, you could save so much money because you're not going to have any fees to any private lenders or anything like that. You don't even have to go and look for any lenders again because look at the time that takes to do uh, and look at the confidence. Now you have the confidence. You have $500,000 to go out there and make offers and know that you have the money sitting in your bank account to close in a day if they can do title that fast. That's what it's all about. And guys, if you had that much money in your bank account, you can earn way more than 10% on your money of what you'd be paying out to a lender. You can earn way more bigger interest than what they can get. And you know it's secured. It's your money. It's secured. You're the lender and you're the borrower. So what are you going to do? Uh, fill out loan apps to yourself? No, none of that stuff. You know that it's secured. You get, you're get, you getting into this deal and you know that it's going to be legit. So guys, you're just going to be the bank. You are going to be the bank. That's the ultimate goal of everybody It just is just to be the absolute the bank. Three years ago, guys, I was $500,000 liquid right into my bank account and I was broke. $500,000 liquid in my bank account and I was dead ass broke. Now, many people are just saying, guys, John, is, is that a, that's impossible. How in the world did you have $500,000 in the bank and you were broke? $500,000, it's a lot of money. Well, John, did you just feel broke or were you really broke? Guys, I was dead ass broke. I didn't have any money and I had $500,000 in my bank account. Let me explain. With $500,000 in the bank, let's just say that you go out and you buy three properties. Okay, so you go out and you buy three properties and each one of those properties is $100,000 a piece. Okay, which means that you're gonna have $300,000 out of your $500,000, but you still have $200,000 left into the bank. That doesn't suck. Each property, you're gonna fix them up. So you buy these properties and you're gonna fix them up and each property needs $20,000 in rehab and repairs, okay? Now that's gonna be $60,000. 20,000 times three is $60,000 into repairs. Well guys, you still have $140,000 left right into your bank account, and that's still a pretty good cushion for having $500,000 in the bank. You go and invest in three properties, you buy them for $100,000 a piece, but you're all gonna rehab them, and you're going to have $60,000 out in the rehab. Well guys, you got $140,000 left. That doesn't suck. Well guys, here is the truth. Most people that have $500,000 into the bank, they have a little bit of overhead. They have a business that they are building. They have built up to $500,000 in the bank and now they have a little bit of overhead. So, and typically anybody with this much uh, liquid into the bank, they're going to be anywhere between twenty dollars to $25,000 in debt every single month, meaning that they have to make twenty dollars to $25,000 a month to just stay afloat, okay? But they're making a lot more money on their money, okay? So that's really nothing when it comes to that aspect, but that's the truth, okay? Because they have to pay their employees. They got to pay their own salary. They got to pay marketing out there to keep on making more money. They have to pay their health insurance. They have to pay utilities. They have to pay office rent. They have to pay all that stuff. But here's the deal. Here's the deal with all this. When you go out and you buy three properties, you don't get your return or your profit back immediately because you're going to be fixing these properties up. Okay? So any rehab, any rehab that you do into your own market, it's going to take you an average of six months to make your profit. Sometimes it's faster, sometimes it's a lot longer, but the average that you're going to have your money out uh, when you buy the property, you fix it up and you get it sold and you get to the closing table and get your check is going to be six months. Okay, that's the average. 
Now watch how I was broke so that you don't make the same exact mistake whenever I put you into this situation. I bought three properties at $100,000 a piece, $20,000 in rehab on three homes is $60,000 out, meaning that I had $360,000 deployed. I had $360,000 out in the market working for me, but it's gonna grow to $435,000, giving you $575,000 in the bank because you're gonna make money, you're gonna make an average of $25,000 on every single one of those. Okay, so it's going to grow to $435,000 that you have deployed, which is gonna give you a total of $575,000 into the bank. On these three properties, you're gonna make 25 of a piece, putting $575,000 back, right? Well again, it takes an average of six months to get your money back and for you to profit. Your monthly overhead, guys, it doesn't stop. Your monthly overhead, it does not stop. So $25,000 a month, that it's going to uh, you know, take out of your monthly expenses is uh, for six months is $150,000. Think about that. So $25,000 a month in overhead for six months is $150,000 because it's gonna take you that to profit that. You got $500,000 liquid, you got $360,000 deployed, and you have $150,000 in bills. The $25,000 a month over that six month time frame means that, guys, you have negative $10,000 into the bank. You started with $500,000, and now you have negative $10,000 into the bank. So on month five, you, you get your property, you buy your property, you fix that property up, then you put it up onto the market, you're waiting for a buyer, you're right around that six month time frame. So on month five, you have all of your properties up onto the market, and what happens is, is your mindset, it's going to change a lot because now you've changed from, okay, you've, you're pretty comfortable, you have $500,000 in the bank, now you've, on month five, you've invested all of your money, now you're in survival mode, so your mindset will change a lot, and here's what anybody, including myself, did, and what you would do. You got all three of your properties up onto the market for $149.9, so every single one of them are up for $149.9. Meaning that you got a total amount in of 120,000, so you bought them for 100, and each one you put 20,000 dollars in repairs in. That's not much. So you got 120,000 dollars in them. You put them up on the market for 149.9, giving you a total of 29.9 of a profit. Month five, again, you're in survival mode. You need to get your money back, so you cannot wait onto that profit. You cannot wait onto that profit. You got to start liquidating some assets so that you can feel comfortable again. Okay. So you lower the prices. So from the 149.9, you just lower the prices to get your money back, but you're still going to make a profit on these deals. So what you do is you lower the profit from 149.9 down to 139.9. Okay? So and what you do is you sell your property because you did that price reduction. Okay? And you're gonna close on it in 30 days. Keeping in mind you're on month number five. You do this price reduction down to 139.9 and you end up selling it, meaning that your buyer that's gonna buy it off you, they're going to uh, close you out within 30 days. Well, month six comes, because this is when you're gonna close on all of your deals, right? You're borrowing money now to start paying your employees, etc. but all three homes close. So now month six comes, you're borrowing all this money to pay employees, your insurance, and all this other stuff, but good, now your, your house is closed and now you're gonna get all of your money back. Right? So you net 132,000, meaning that that 139.9, you're gonna have to pay a realtor. You're gonna have to pay a little bit of fees off of it, meaning that you net $132,000 on every single one of those three properties on that month six, okay? So you're gonna make an average of $12,000 a piece. The 132 minus the 120, you make an average of $12,000 a piece. You're still in the green. You're still in the green, so congratulations. So if you take 132,000 that you net on every single property, times it by three properties, you get $396,000. But you had $500,000. My friend, you just lost $104,000 using your own money flipping deals. Using your own money is toxic. And this is what I found out. And I went through this cycle. If you want to know how I went $600,000 in debt, I was very, very liquid. 
and I went into debt because I went through that same exact cycle about eight times where I thought that I was saving myself money, but at the end of the day, I was costing myself so much money and I was losing money hand over fist. Using your own money is toxic. So guys, what I did last year, there's a huge shift. There's a huge shift. The 2015, the 2016 real estate shift is big. So what I did last year in 2014 was I started liquidating all of my assets meaning that everything that I owned free and clear, all properties that I owned free and clear, I started liquidating them all except for my own personal residence. Now, there's only one property that I own free and clear and it's gonna be closing at the end of this month. So now's the time that you need to be really thinking about this because this shift, it is no joke and most real estate investors, it's a fog to them and then literally you're going right into that fog, you're gonna hit that iceberg and that ship is gonna go down. It's that simple. So guys, I urge you right now, if you ever get into the situation to where you can buy real estate and you can pay cash for it out of your own pocket, do not do it. And the reason I'm telling you not to do that is you can rewind this video, you can watch it again and look through all those examples that I gave you because it is the absolute truth, okay? So we literally just a couple days ago, we got onto webinars where I showed everybody the shift, the real estate shift that was gonna happen and I gave away uh, over 60, so right at 60, uh, 500,000 our lines of credit so that you don't run into any of this stuff, okay? So guys, I had to shut it down. I had to completely shut it down. So guys, what we have done is this, is we are not open for 500,000 our lines of credit anymore. So if you need to, if we ever open up back into the, into the future, Guys, you can go to INeed500K.com. It's right onto your screen right now. Go to INeed500K.com. Sign up for the waiting list so that you never have to go through that cycle and you can know exactly the real estate shift and you can have $500,000 in a line of credit to do it with. So guys, this is a huge tip. Do not go into this. Do not go into that. Don't use your own money because it's toxic. I liquidated all my assets and you should too. So guys, Hopefully you absolutely get a lot out of this because it is very, very powerful. Guys, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook. I'm out, see you guys.